Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This morning I got a very exciting package from Euphoria. They sent me all three of their brand new BYO blushes. You might have already heard about or seen their original BYO blush and it is basically like a pH changing blush shade that is supposed to be unique on every different skin tone. But the new shades are But Tonight, Let's go party and turn up the sunshine. The shade But Tonight, love. I wore it a little bit this morning and it's gorgeous. It is right up my alley. And then these other two shades are pretty bright. I'm really excited to see what these look like swatched out. And then as far as the rest of my makeup, because I'm not wearing any makeup right now, I pulled out products from my collection that I feel like are more skin focused. One thing I really like about Euphoria as a brand is they do kind of skincare focused products. They actually make it so that you can wear their products while you're sleeping. So I just find that to be really interesting and something that makes me feel like it's going to be good and beneficial for my skin. But this is just gonna be a quick little video. I really just wanted to chit chat and swatch and try out the new Euphoria blush shades. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Before I apply my base makeup, I'm going to apply the Say Sun Visor SPF 35 Sheer Moisturizer. When I, I don't even wanna say when I did my makeup cause I barely wore anything, but when I did, you know, something to my face this morning, cause I just ran a couple of errands. I really just wore this SPF from Say and the But Tonight BYOB blush and it was gorgeous. It really looked like a kind of like no makeup makeup look sort of thing. Just kind of added a little bit of color to my cheeks. And then this, I just love all over the skin, this SPF, I think it looks so nice. It really adds a lot of healthy glow to my skin and obviously adds that sun protection. This is the Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen SPF 30. I'm going to go in with like a light amount of this. I really don't want to wear too much makeup. At this point, I'm just going to be hanging out at the house now. We are getting ready to go to Florida tomorrow. Thanksgiving is coming up and pretty much all of our family still lives in Florida. I'm from Boca Raton, Florida, if you did not know. Usually my grandparents on my mom's side come up, but they went through a lot of stuff over the summer and also they're just getting a little older. So we are going down there and I'm really excited because Justin is coming. It'll be his first time in Florida with us and like seeing a lot of my family for the first time. I guess he's met the majority of people, but my, I guess like my step grandfather, he has some daughters that he hasn't met and all of them have little babies. There's a one year old, I think like a six month old and a newborn. So yeah, just a really light layer of the Tower 28 Sunny Days just to kind of even out my complexion. Now I'm taking my Milk Makeup Sunshine Under Eye Brightener Concealer. This product has like vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, squalene, which I recently learned comes from shark. I had no idea. I don't know where I thought squalene came from, but like, I don't know why I was thinking like it was plants or something. I think that there are plant-derived squalene. I would think that milk makeup also would have like a vegan squalene, but I don't know. I guess that is something that we should all be looking into on like where your squalene is coming from. But that was wild to me that it was like shark oil. But I don't really reach for this concealer too often. I just wanted to use it because I do know that the sunshine oil from Milk makeup is like skin benefiting and I knew that their concealer had some skin benefiting ingredients to it as well. But the combination of all of those base products are looking really, really good. I definitely could have built up my Tower 28 Sunny Days, but I didn't really want to. I kind of just wanted to keep everything really light. Nothing too special for my brow color. I'm just using my NYX lift and snatch but yeah we're going tomorrow to florida tuesday we're driving we are driving up with molly that'll be the first time she's kind of like on a real road trip which we're a little worried about because she does not do super well in the car like she does well but you can tell the car is not her favorite thing for my brow gel i grabbed the nyx bear with me cannabis sativa 
seed oil brow setter. I don't know if this has like really any real benefit to it, but I would imagine if they went out of their way to add some like hemp oil to this product that it's supposed to be like conditioning in a way. So that's really, that's really my reasoning for grabbing this. I really wish that I made the time to get my brows done before we left because they are pretty intense right now. Before I apply blush to my skin, I am going to go in with the Tower 28 Bronzino and Best Coast. I didn't really have a good like bronzer to choose that, you know, had skin ingredients, skincare ingredients in it. Um, I'm sure I overlooked something. I'm just not sure. But Tower 28 overall does not make makeup products without keeping skin in mind. They're eczema proof makeup brand for the most part, if not completely. I know a lot of their products are, but I just don't know for sure if it's everything. So that's why I grabbed the Bronzino because I just knew it would kind of fall in line with everything else being used in today's video. And I just wanted to add a light amount of that because I did not want to take away from the blush. So here are the new blushes side by side. I really love the light pink packaging on these. I wonder if they're changing the original shades packaging as well to match it or if they're gonna keep it that orange shade, but these are all of the colors side by side. These are the blushes swatch. So that is the original chemical reaction blush. This is But Tonight. This one is Let's Go Party, and then this one is Turn Up the Sunshine. Let's Go Party and Turn Up the Sunshine went on really sheer, but then they kind of darkened up a little bit. Very similar to how the original Chemical Reaction one goes on. They had more of a tint to them when applied, but then they definitely darkened up. And I think that they will kind of act more as a little bit of a stain but there's a lot more pigment to the But Tonight shade, which is probably my favorite. I was kind of underwhelmed by these two shades. I just watched them for the first time, um, but they actually darkened up to be pretty cute. I'm probably going to apply all three of them, but we'll do it kind of one at a time. That was Turn Up the Sunshine, and I don't know if you were able to tell, but it kind of went on a little bit more sheer and it did kind of just darken up a little bit. That's actually really cute. That has a lot more pigment to it than I thought it would. It's pretty orange in here, but it's not as like pop orange as I was thinking. I'm going to apply Let's Go Party. I wiped off my brush a little bit, but I'm just using the same brush. I used my fingers to blend out the but tonight shade this morning. Ooh, this one's really, really bright. Oh wow, I applied way, way too much. These end up being so much more bright than I'm thinking. Oh no, I really hope that this bit of light does not... Do I need to close a window? Maybe, I don't know. Wow, this one is intense. Let's Go Party is a lot more intense than I was thinking. I had to wait for that light patch to go away and now it's kind of dark. We're just gonna deal with it because it just gets really dark really early now. That's how the time is working. But yeah, I feel like I applied the same amount of both blushes. I just think the Let's Go Party shade is really intense pink. I definitely feel like I would gravitate more toward the Turn Up the Sunshine, even though I really love intense blushes. I just think this is like a little too intense for me and not really a blush shade that I typically go for. Now, both of these are really similar to the original Chemical Reaction. So if you already own Chemical Reaction, I'm kind of feeling like you probably don't need either of these shades. They're just really similar. I feel like you could get a very similar look out of both of these, but the real unique shade here is But Tonight, which I really, really want to apply. These are kind of how they've been changing too. These are still a bit deeper. They've gotten more deep as I've worn them too, compared to the Chemical Reaction one, like that pH changing blush. But still, I feel like they are pretty similar. 
So if you already own the chemical changing blush, I don't really think I don't really think that you need it. In my experience, these blushes are really long wearing. The blush I had on this morning, the Butt Tonight shade I had on this morning, was really long wearing and looked just as intense as when I first applied it, even though I didn't have like any real makeup on underneath of it. I'm just kind of cheating a little and I just wiped off some of the blush and I'm just applying a little bit of the Sunny Days Tinted Moisturizer on. I have videos where I apply the Euphoria Chemical Reaction Blush. I'll go ahead and leave any of those videos down below so you can see it, but I'm going to apply the Euphoria BYO blush in But Tonight on both cheeks right now because that is the blush shade that I'm going to be actually wearing. Again, I applied this with my fingers earlier. I'm going to go in with a brush right now, hopefully. Okay, good. I was gonna say maybe I should have done one cheek at a time because I feel like these blushes are kind of in a way like stains but they're not like a they're more like an oil stain if that can make sense or like you can envision that how pretty is that blush I love it I love 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 this blush shade this lighting is not as warm but you can still see the blush it's so much prettier in person. I really wish I would have started filming like 30 minutes earlier. This is going to be like my go-to blush, I think. I really wanted to swatch this blush next to the Say Blush and Spicy, the Dew Blush. When I applied the Euphoria blush this morning, it really reminded me of the Say blush. Side by side, they are pretty similar. I think that the Say blush has a little more red to it, whereas the But Tonight blush has a little bit more orange to it. I feel like you would get more wear out of the Euphoria blush, just in my experience with using the Euphoria formula. The Say Do blushes do not last long on me, which is unfortunate because they are really pretty. They don't have like the best shade selection. I feel like the Spicy blush is one of the only blushes that really show up on me. One of the reasons why I wanted to get this video filmed quick is because I'm going to bring all three of these blushes to Florida and I'm going to see how my sister likes either of these blushes because I will let her take those if she wants, but I'm absolutely keeping the Butt Tonight shade. That shade is my jam. But for her birthday, I got her the original BYO blush. She asked for this blush and a couple of other products from Euphoria because she wants to get more into like skincare like makeup. Before I put on mascara, I'm going to run a little bronzer through my eyes. I'm just curling my lashes real quick, prep them for mascara. Got Miss Molly girl with me, a little dirty girl. She just came from outside and I know she was digging. I know you were dicking. For my mascara, I grabbed the Wander Beauty Upgraded Lashes. This is their treatment mascara. Don't know what kind of treatment it is. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I have a little bit of light coming over here. We're just, it's the end of the video. We have to roll with it, but at least you can see the blush in a different way, I guess. I don't know. I have to assume there's like biotin in this or something like that. That was another thing that I got for my sister. I got her the Honest Beauty Lash Tint. It's supposed to be like a more natural looking mascara, but then also supposed to help with like lash growth. Oh boy, that light. It's kind of pretty, but it's not really ideal for showing makeup. For my lips, I'm just going to line them really quick with my LA Girl Sugar and Spice Lip Liner. And then for my gloss today, I grabbed my M Beauty Project Lip Glaze number one. I think that's it. I don't think that there's a name to it. But I do think that these are really nice, good kind of lip gloss, lip oil type products. This smells so good. Ugh, I just thought too that this shade would match the blush really well, the But Tonight blush that I just love. I also wore this on my lips a little bit. It looked very cute. In Beauty Project does a lot of skincare and there are some skin benefiting ingredients in these lip glosses. I'm not very knowledgeable on like skincare ingredients and all that kind of thing. So if a brand says that they have something or it's supposed to be good for my skin or whatever, 
As a regular consumer, I just kind of trust that a lot of the time. I think it's this window. I'm gonna close this window and we, then we can finish up. Oh, the lighting is gorgeous now. What the heck? Now you can see the blush really well. I'm actually going to apply just a smidge more. This would be a really good blush for that new trend, that like I'm cold trend, which someone asked me recently if I would do that kind of look on my channel. And I think I definitely will. I don't have time to film one now and I'm going to Florida so I don't really want to film that in Florida. I feel like the lips and the blush look so so good together. Last thing I'm going to apply is the Euphoria pre-game skin moisturizing setting spray. I do have some problems with this nozzle. I really tried to clean it so we'll see. Let's see. Mm, it's a little better but it, it's doing that thing where it's spraying kind of just like out of one side, which is kind of annoying. One last look at these swatches before I head out. These end up looking pretty similar. Obviously, you know, to a lot of us, they're totally different blushes. I get that. But I feel like you do not need both of them. And if you already own this one, this one can be pretty buildable. It's obviously a little softer than these two, but as you saw earlier, the Let's Go Party shade was very easy to be very intense. So if you want something that you're probably not going to overdo it with, the original Chemical Reaction shade probably would be a good option for you. But I really think that the standout blush shade here is the But Tonight shade. I think that if you were interested in picking up any of the new shades, the But Tonight shade is going to be it. Especially if you are a similar complexion to mine, we just look so good in shades like that. Thank you so much, Euphoria, for sending me these new blushes. I cannot wait to share with my sister. Even though this was a very simple look, I really like how my makeup turned out. I feel definitely my most comfortable just in basic looks like this and I think you all know that about me by now. I really know what I like and this is pretty much it. That is going to be it from me today though. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. I really hope that you all have a nice holiday with your family if you celebrate or just if you have taken this opportunity to spend time with your friends and family. I hope that you have a nice time. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so, and hopefully I will see you next time.